Following is an introduction to integration in Python using SciPy's quad function. We need to import a new library. So in addition to NumPy, Matplotlib, we're going to do from scipy.integrate import quad. And this loads, loads quad into the namespace. And we can then call this quad function to do uh, integration. The word quad comes from quadrature which is the typical numerical approach for solving uh, integrals of functions. So to numerically integrate a function, we'll call the integral i, f of x dx from x low to x high, we do the following three steps. First, we define the function, f of x, and then we set the integral bounds, and we call the quad function, quad, f comma x low comma x high so we pass in the function the name of the function we defined and then the lower bound and the upper bound quad then returns a tuple of two values the first element of the tuple is the result i and the second element is the error so let's go ahead and do an example of the following integral which has the analytic solution uh, two that we'll compare our answer to so first step is we define the function, def f of x, return 3x squared plus 1. And then we call quad on the function, comma, the lower bound, which is 1, the upper 0, the upper bound, which is 1. And then this returns a tuple, which we're unpacking into variables i and r. We can then print out the integral and the corresponding error. Okay, so three steps. Define the function, and then just call quad on the uh, upper with the function where we specify the upper, the lower and upper bounds, and then it returns a tuple. The first element we're unpacking into i, and the second element into air. Okay, so there's lots of other parameters that can be used to fine tune the output and operation, and you can do help quad or quad question mark. Uh, for details. Okay, let's go ahead and run this uh, exercise to practice what we just learned. So go ahead and pause the video here and uh, solve this problem. Okay, let's go ahead and solve this. So first step is to define the function def f of x return mp dot cosine x then we have the lower bound. If we want, we can make variables for these. x low is 0, and x high is np dot pi over 2. And then we can do the integral i equals quad the function, the lower bound, x low, the upper bound, x high. And we'd go i comma error, and then we can show i. Oops, looks like I need to run those cells. Let's go ahead and run this. There we go. <clears throat> okay, much better. <coughs> and we get the answer one. Now, because this is a tuple, if we don't care to see the error, we could just go I, and because this is a tuple, we can just say, I just want the first element of the tuple, so we could go bracket zero. And then, uh, of course, again, let me make that clear. This quantity highlighted is a tuple, so I'm accessing the first element of it, 0, and storing that as variable i. And then we have the solution. OK. Um, you can, of course, if the function's simple, like we have here, you could just pass the function np.cosine, and that would work as well. If, the, if you already have the name of the function, in this case we do, it's um, from scipy, numpy. Now, notice that we're not doing cosine. That's with parentheses. That's calling the function. We don't want to call the function. We just want to pass the actual function, the name of the function, the actual function, which is np.cos here. OK, so there's an example. OK, suppose we want to integrate a function x squared plus p, where p is a parameter that we might want to change. So we really have f of x comma p as x squared plus p, but we're only integrating with respect to x. So we'd have something that looks like this. f of x comma p dx, but we're only integrating with respect to x. This happens all the time. 
you're finding the time to fill a tank with water, it requires integration, but the problem depends on the tank diameter, possible exit pipe diameter, a valve coefficient, a bunch of other parameters that might be changeable. So when we solve this with quad, <coughs> so we want to solve this problem with quad for various values of p. The issue though is that quad only knows to call our function as f of x. It doesn't know that our function has extra parameters. So if we want to solve this with quad, we need to tell quad, when you call my function, you need to call it with extra parameters that I'm going to tell you about. Okay, there's a couple of ways to do this. Um, so the first approach is to just leave the p dependence as a global variable, and we can do that as follows. <coughs> we can go f of x return x squared plus p, and then p can be p can be uh, listed as a global variable. So here we have p is one, and f will because p is now in the global namespace, it's known inside the function. So then we can just call i one as quad like so, like usual, and it will use the value of p that we have. And then we can change the value of p to 2 and call it again, and the value of p to 3 and call it again, and then print the three values, and this is what we get for the three integrals. Uh, sometimes preferable approach is to um, <clears throat> let the function <coughs> be called with those parameters rather than relying on a global, uh, the global namespace. And so we'd like to have our function depend on p as an argument and be able to pass p in properly. That is, again, so I mentioned this before, let me state it again. The problem is that quad only knows to call our function as f of x. If our function wants to be called with extra parameters, we need to tell quad about them. And quad has a, an argument called args that we can tell it about the arguments we want to pass besides uh, just x. So here's an example where f actually depends on both x and p and returns x squared plus p. <coughs> so here we go, i1 is quad, f from 0 to 1 as usual, and then we give it a tuple of extra arguments to pass. So args equals 1 comma 2 comma 3 comma. This sets p, the second argument. So these args are the extra arguments that we're passing. So here we're passing 1 we're passing 2, then we're passing 3, and it's a tuple, so it ends in the comma here. So pretty easy to use, you just say, uh, I've got extra arguments, so pass quad uh, an extra argument called args, which is a tuple of values to send to the function besides just x. Okay, and we get the same result there. So let's go ahead and uh, practice this by solving the following problem 0 to 5 f of x, where it depends on two parameters, a and b and you can go ahead and pause the video and use the args function, the args parameter to do this in the same way that we did before. So here's a solution. <coughs> def f of x comma a comma b return np dot sign of x to the a plus b. Then we can go a is 2 and b is 3 three and then we can go i equals quad f comma we're going to integrate from zero to five and the extra arguments are the tuple a comma b and we just want the zeroth element because we don't care about the error and then we can print out i and that's the result okay so there is a basic introduction to using uh, quad from SciPy.